Now, if you're a fan of morning TV, you might have been surprised to see how low some of the name recognition is uh, among uh, well-known TV celebrities, right? You might be surprised that not a lot of people know who, uh, you, you know, uh, George Stephanopoulos is. Uh, we in sociology might be really surprised to hear that, you know, nobody knows who Robert Merton is outside of our discipline. And part of it is that fame exists in a field. It's like a sphere of discourse, a sphere of attention uh, where a person is relevant. So fame exists where people pay attention to the area of discussion or action where the celebrity is relevant. And people who don't pay attention to that, the celebrity might as well be anybody else. Their fame is not fungible. It doesn't have an impact. So, for example, if you're a baseball fan, you know who Mike Trout is. You might want Mike Trout to meet your child or grandchild. You might invite Mike Trout, you know, to speak to the community. But if you don't know who Mike Trout is, well, then Mike Trout might as well be Salman Ken or uh, Dil Rabbi, uh, Dilmarat, who are two far, far bigger stars who I'm guessing most of you have never heard of because they operate in a space that where your attention doesn't gravitate. And even though you know, for example, that Salman Khan is very famous, because I've told you so, you might not be moved emotionally because like, you know, it, it's not meaningful to you. You're not, uh, you're, you're not invested in the space where Salman Khan does work. And so his celebrity isn't, 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 uh, is it, it, it doesn't have an impact on you. But where you do pay attention to the field, if you do know baseball, then you're more likely to know of Mike Trout, click on an ad, listen to his opinion, and all that. Um, all right. All right. Now, what has happened with this fragmentation of us all getting uh, paying attention to smaller audiences is there's... Uh, been a, a new breed of what are called micro celebrities. So whereas a lot of uh, a, a lot of our celebrities might have been followed by very large audiences, a lot of people who are celebrities today are in the celebrity business. I'll explain what that is in a second. They often cater to small audiences in the tens of thousands, and and uh, like sociology is included in that. Our most famous people are playing to audiences of tens of thousands. And in that sense, they're micro celebrities, just like all the niche podcasters that Ryan and I have been uh, interviewing. Um, but still, there is something interesting in talking to these podcasters, and uh, there's something to be learned about it. One more thing I want to say before I move on from this is that uh, a celebrity's attachment to a field often binds their fates together, the, the fate of the field and the fate of the celebrity. So for example, Fauci was very well known in communicable disease circles before COVID, but it took COVID to put him on the cover of time, to be a household name, to be on Good Morning America. So Fauci's field rose and he did. And it can happen in, in the opposite, right? Like I think of like Waif, uh, Kate Moss, right? remember those Waif models who looked like they were sickly thin? That was a subsector of the fashion industry when it lost cultural cachet. The practitioners in that space lost their cachet. Now, this tie creates an incentive for people to boost the fields that are the basis of their fame, but it can also create an incentive for someone to separate from their field, use their early fame as a springboard to fame in another space with better prospects for them personally or a fave, uh, field that has uh, a more lasting power. So think of, for example, how George Foreman went from being a boxer to selling uh, grilled chicken, like a TV pitchman. Or for younger people, how Jake Paul, after Vine closed, he got onto YouTube and now he's uh, trying his hand at, at, at boxing and other spectacle matches, right? When the field dies, you can move to another one, but there is some type of binding between a celebrity and their 